Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. I really love the way it turned out. It is a very bold, super smoky eye with a lot of like warm fall colors. I'm all about the fall colors and it is officially fall as of yesterday. So this is the look that I came up with today. And if you like it and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking these two kind of neutrally transition shades and I am going to just throw that into my crease all the way from like inner corner to outer corner. I'm really going to like blow it out from like all the way up to the tail of my brow, just leaving the high point blank for highlight and I'm also going to bring it in towards the front of my brow where it's like almost touching it just so it's like really blown out and smoky. And you'll see on this eye, there's like this one section that just won't take pigment. So it looks like there's a gap right there. It's like a natural highlight in my face. It does it on both eyes. So if you see that, that is what it is. But I'm taking this middle like reddish brown shade on a smaller brush. And I'm going to apply that in the same area. This is just going to really warm up the eye. And then I'm also going to drag that color onto the lid. doesn't have to be super precise. Just throw it on for a base because we're going to put more colors over it. And then for the next colors, I couldn't really decide what I wanted to use. So I'm using these three darker shades across the bottom. I just mixed them all together. And I am patting those onto my lid as well. Again, doesn't have to be super perfect because we're going to go over with some glitter. Just mostly like the inner and outer corners. So it's not going to be covered as much with the glitter. And then blend it up into the crease as well. And then for a highlight, I'm mixing these two shades right here. The first one's matte. The second one has a little bit of shimmer. And I'm just placing that at the very high point of my brow, leaving the rest dark and smoky. And then I'm taking this shade right here. It's kind of a goldy color. Um, it's got like some dark flecks in it also, but I wet my brush with some Fix Plus and I am applying that mostly in the center and then I'm fading it towards the inner and outer corners, kind of almost covering the whole lid, but not quite. And then of course, blending out all of the edges. And then I'm just going to quickly wipe away the rest of the powder from baking. And then we are moving on to the lower lash line. And I'm taking a fluffy brush in the three lighter shades. And I'm just really smoking out the lower lash line. Don't be afraid to really bring it down quite far. And then taking a pencil brush in the three darker shades, I'm just going to run that along the base of my lashes. And then of course go in and blend it out so there's no harsh lines. And then going back to that fluffier brush, I am going to blend out even further and make the inner corner smoky as well as opposed to the usual highlight. And then I'm taking this color Zero from Urban Decay, just a black eye pencil, and I'm lining my upper and lower water lines. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara to prep for falsies. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And the lashes I'm using today are the Posh Wispies. And then moving on to the face, this is the Dolce De Leche palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm taking this contour shade and just contouring all the usual places, the hollows in my cheeks, along the edge of my hairline and my temples, my jawline, a little bit along the sides of my nose and under my bottom lip. From that same duo, I'm just taking the lighter shade and applying it underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take some loose powder to clean up my contour. And while that sits, I'm applying blush. I'm mixing these two right here from the Morphe 9B Blush Palette. 
And then taking the Anastasia That Glow Kit, I'm mixing bubbly and dripping in gold, and I am just applying a little bit of highlight, not too much, because I want this to be a more dark, smoky kind of fall look, but I still want a little bit of highlight, so I'm going to apply it in all the usual places, just not as much. To line my lips, I'm using the Cork Lip Liner from MAC, and this is just a brown shade. And then for lip color, this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Limbo. And again, it's a very warm brown kind of shade. And finishing it off with some Scandinavia Setting Spray. Okay, so that completes this look. I think it turned out really good. It's super like old and smoky and I love the fall colors. I'm all about fall colors. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen my last video, I will link it here next to me or down below in the description bar. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.